Good morning, good morning. I have a giant mess. How does this happen all the time? How do the mess monsters get in my room every night and create a gigantic mess? We have decent news on the political front here, although if what people say are true, the more he gets indicted, the more his people will vote for him. He could he could win again. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, enough about that. All right, I am making, I think I'm going backwards today. Go figure. On um, making um, temple, temple pages. But in the meantime, I have found stuff. I mean, look at that paper. That's something that I photocopied and then added gold to it at the end. This is probably a clean off page and it's gorgeous. Um, but I, I've been painting at night. I'm in a painting sort of mood, apparently. I'm trying to put all the scraps in one place here. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. I mean, after Hulong Bay, we came back to Hanoi for two nights or one, two nights, I think. Um, I have to look at my little thing. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty, but as far as events and places, there would be, there are things I want to add, like the people, um, the food, <laughs> the, um, the, the atmosphere around the sites that we saw. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not finished. And I think I'm just going to put them all at the end. I'm not going to intersperse them. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Oh, I still have this. So there's things I still want to use. There's still things I still want to incorporate into this. I still have some ephemera. Not a lot of ephemera because we just didn't get any. Mostly what I have is receipts and I can't tell you what it's for or what it's from. But in painting at night, <laughs> that's just plain just doodling. But it's on sticker paper so I can cut it anywhere I want to. Any way I want to. Anywhere and any way. These are little pieces that I cut into possibly journal cards. I put little frames into them. And this is all acrylic on like mixed media paper. But then I went over it in Neo Color 2s in places. Like that red, I added more red. And that purple, I added more purple. This is a my favorite thing. A ad from Architectural Digest. And you can sort of see some stuff underneath it. Cable Edge Collection shows up. <laughs> but I just, I love that. And I was just trying to put colors that were dark enough. These are the gouache, the jelly gouache. That's what this is. And I put colors that were dark enough to cover up what was there. And I have a paintbrush that is rapidly falling apart. The bristles are falling out. It was a cheap one. But I love that. I don't know if I'll add more to it. I don't know if I could put like a shrine in front of it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is a page that I've already used part of. And it's supposed to be like... Um, waves or abstract waves at Hulong Bay. But it could be oysters for the pearls. Because we did see... We did stop at a pearl farm. And then there was a lot of white, so I just added more color. I can stamp on this. I can do whatever. This one was a jelly print with acrylic that I wasn't crazy about. But if you add circles to it with gray Neo Color 2s and get them wet just a little so that you can still see some of the markings, it's really pretty. So, Lord knows what I'm going to do. All right, here's shrines. Oh. This is the staircase to one of the levels at the shrine at the top of the hill. Vietnamese is, I don't know, but the shrine at the top of the hill. Shrine at the top of the mountain. Temple, temple, not shrine. But I tried to paint just a tiny bit of gray. Perhaps draw it. I don't know if I can. 
that might happen today. I don't know. This is how windy it was because my friend's hair just stood straight up. There's the Buddha. Um, anyhow, that was, that was just an amazing place. But I'm getting my days mixed up a little bit. Oh. I have by bun on Patreon. So I know that the this needs to come right here. And yes, these rings are getting full. I know. I know. I know. So I think I'm going to print something that I kind of messed around with on Procreate last night. Perhaps add these to the back. Maybe a drawing. Because I would like to do... This whole Traveler's Notebook started when I thought I could be an urban sketcher. Hmm. I thought I could be Jose Naranya. No. Um, I'm, but I'm really, really... Let's just take a gander back through here. There's my cover. We are experiencing some of the smoke that's hitting New York City. We don't have near, near what, but we have a little bit of smoke coming down here. Or maybe not smoke, but fuzzy air quality. But um, from those fires in Nova Scotia, there's been a horrible train wreck in India. The dog is barking at something. I think I'm getting some washi tape today or tomorrow. Like, I need more washi tape. Um, hopefully, hopefully, the beginning of the end for one of our previous presidents. <laughs> the worst one we've ever had. That narrows it down. Um, hopefully, but it's going to take till next summer. And then he can say, well, you're ruining my rights to run for president. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that man. Anyhow. Oh, we're not talking about that. Okay, so now I, I want to go through and add my table of contents, but I want to make sure I have everything in the right order. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the right order, but I would like it to be in the right order. When I'm 80 at the nursing home and we're all sitting around together and I'm going, hold on, did I go to Hulong Bay before I went to there or did I go there before I went to Hulong Bay? It really doesn't matter horribly to me. It would like I would like to have it in order, but if it's not, it's not. But And I need to go through and fuse all these pages so I can cut off the edges. There's a picture on Instagram of Bonnie Hunter taking a picture of all of us on the airplane doing our little cats. Oh, I finished my cat. Hmm. I think I'll stick a picture in here of the cat. I just added, did I already do that? I can't remember. But anyhow, so, and I still have some of these. I'm, I forget to keep using these. So there's filler pages I still want to put in. Um, I have plain stuff to get on the ride home. I really, really, the water puppet event, that was really interesting. The words, a few mountain words, or a few Vietnamese words. Hello, Jin Chao, Hot, Nong, Mountain, Nguai, N-U-I. I'm sure I'm pronouncing every single one of these wrong. I'm so sorry. Anybody in Vietnam watching me. Food, hmm. Uong, Scooter, Zhe Ta Ga, Village, Long Bon, Hotel, Kach San, Goodbye, Tom Biet. Oh. The Temple, Temple, Temple of Literature. No, yeah. Positivity, peace, and light. I like that, that those words came out. Read everywhere. Beautiful shrines and vessels. The Temple of Literature. Confucius. Temple of Literature. Vietnam in color. Water buffaloes. I love this. This is kind of like off of that um, book. Nomad. Judy, because I made my own color swatch here using colors that I saw everywhere. Water buffalo gray, statuary brownish gray, water puppet water, which was really limey green. Hulong Bay, which, Ha Long Bay, I keep saying it wrong, it's Ha Long Bay, is a muddy blue, red for shrine. School walls were all a uh, terracotta indigo, uh, okra color. Scooter tires are a really dark gray. 
a five hour drive that gave us tales of cinnamon, lacquer, a flat tire, and a border with china. That was to get up to Sapa. I like this. And this was pink. This is one of Dina Wakely's cards in her new um, Idea Sparks. I think she calls them or something like that. Hmm, they're around here somewhere. And um, this had pink in it. So I just took a marker and colored it red. This is our flat tire. These ladies that were selling stuff alongside the road everywhere. How they export cinnamon. Just a filler decoration. Thursday going up to the mountains, to Sapa, how we got up there, Red River Delta, which is kind of how we went. This is how we went. More about Sapa. This is, oh, what is this? The Red River Delta. We need to put that somewhere. More about the Red River Delta. Maybe I'll put that here and it'll be with that. And then I could put something in here, some receipts. And this happens to be on sticker paper. And if it's vertical, it's okay. I'd rather have it in there than in, in a little whack, whack, wackadoodle than not in there. Okay, solves that problem. Red Dow people, Vietnam hidden charms, the people, yes. Huh. Culture, history, the embroidery was unbelievable. I like how this turned out. That was a lot of, a good way to get a lot of pictures in. Oh, and I need to do something here. Okay, Friday we did the batik. That was cute, using a children's book. The Hmong people doing the batik. Mm, and the rice patties of Sapa. And the rice patties from high, high above. Going into the, oh, you know what? Oh, am I like a crazy woman? Don't answer that question. I did do the temple. Ay, ay, ay. What is wrong with my brain? Well, I might have another piece in here. Maybe here of the temple. Because I have a really cool picture that I made. Here is, oh, I need to include our hotel. Okay, so I'm not nuts. Are y'all screaming at the screen again? Uh, not 1,969 islands. Just a good place to breathe. Halong Bay, Halong Bay. 600 square miles, Buddha on one of the islands from the 16th to 17th century. Walk Rock Wonder in the Sky was said by Yun Yun Tri in 1580, 1580. Array of Sunshine. That place was Array of Sunshine. Okay, then I had this crazy pocket that I messed up. Okay, so I don't need to do the temple as much as I thought I did, but I'm still going to include that picture that I made. So that can all still go there. And these can all go here. And these can all go here. So now, hmm, the pictures of Halong Bay. We had a great sunset one night, the first night. And these are double side. These are two together. This is how hazy it was when we first started out. And then it cleared up to a whopping this. <laughs> Little tiny fishing vessels. Now, I read on um, Wikipedia or somewhere that about 40 of the islands are still inhabited. Um, our guide told us that once it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site, they had to leave. But the UNESCO World Heritage Site might not cover all 1,900 islands. It might cover 1,800. So that might be because these people were everywhere, and I don't know where they came from. In the middle of the night. So I'm thinking some people still, they still have fishing villages on some of those little islands where they just tie up their boats. That's all they can do. They live on boats. My feet in the kayak. And this is how, I mean, this is the, the overnight boats leaving out of the port. 
and it was like a free-for-all, a run to see who could get where. We kind of all spread out once we got going, but you could still see several, you know, around you, which was kind of sad, but it is what it is. At least I got to see it, right? Right. No pity parties. So, for right now, those are going like that. And I do have... I'm trying to think. Where's my sheet? Oopsie, sorry. You just got whacked. Sorry. This is my manuscript. I don't like to plan, but I do have to have kind of like a plan of action. Okay, the Pearl Farm. Okay, so this was Sunday and Monday. I've done those. We're back to Hanoi. We did stop at the ceramic store and a ceramic factory. That morning, they had Tai Chi at 6 o'clock, but it was raining. So they were going to do it in the dining room. And they did do it in the dining room, but only for a few people. But I sat out on a chair underneath an awning and just observed in the quiet. The putt, putt, putt of the boats, the little boats coming in to sell pearls alongside our boat. Um, the... The birds, which sound a lot like osprey, they were some kind of falcon, something or other. Uh, not a falcon. What do you call those birds? Birds of prey, kind of like something along that. And somebody did tell me what they were. But these are some other things I want to kind of incorporate. Um, our, the talent of the group, Bonnie Hunter, who led us all to go on this trip. She's in Cairo right now. Oh, she saw the tent makers which are men that do um, applique super fast with gigantic scissors. I saw them at a quilt festival in Chattanooga probably 10 years ago. Um, they use scissors with the blades like this long, old, beautiful, old metal, real metal scissors. And they do these intricate, intricate, intricate appliques that they used to decorate their tents. Um, and I think they're from F. Afghanistan and Egypt, I guess. Anyhow, she got to, and it's the men that do the work. She got to see that. So I kind of wanted to have like a thing about Bonnie, uh, communism, the traffic, <laughs> the museums that we went to, the food, young population due to war. There's a missing generation in these cities. Um, just a picture of all the street signs and storefronts and housing um, our actual group, our guide that was from Hawaii and was a very interesting woman. Um, doors. Doors are really, really, really... We're just going to do a check-in today. We're not doing any work, <laughs> apparently. Doors are really um, like a sign of wealth and or good luck, feng shui. So the doors were very interesting. Um, the hotels we stayed at, the building types and architecture, in other words, you would have French... Uh, old Vietnamese, new Vietnamese, modern, all in one block, depending on what got bombed during the Vietnam War. Just It was just so interesting. Um, I did the puppet show. We don't have to do that again. Um, I did boutique and embroidery. The lacquer I really didn't touch on yet, um, but they've been through so much war in the last hundred years. The kids, the kids were just beautiful. Um, <laughs> Lola and Gunner, the la a lady that I met has a dog just like Gunner and her name is Lola. And the, the, co the common denominators in those dogs is definitely the breed. So I really want to focus on lacquer and ce uh, ceramics. Um, the crazy market we went to. So there are things on um, here, like... Hanoi to Sapa, the Red River Delta, Cinnamon Mountains, China Border, the Rice Paddies, Water Buffalo, Cinnamon. Oh, I would like to have pictures of Water Buffalo too. Cinnamon Trees, Red River, the Red River, Smog Hot, Record Heat Waves while we were there in Hanoi. Luckily, we were up in the mountains when this happened. Um, Hanoi to Halong Bay, 
more beach community resort like, but still in cement houses. So their beach houses were still the core is cement. And I don't know if that's because of the humidity, typhoons, the combination of all, I don't know, longevity, I'm not sure. Many large communities of beach houses we saw, most of them unlived in. Boats look like river boats without the paddle wheels, what the river boats were used to. Death on the Nile like storm. Oh, death, they were Death on the Nile like looking, those boats. If you've ever seen the boat from Death on the Nile, the old one. <laughs> Uh, a bad storm overnight, tiny fishing boats, ladies selling pearls and tiny boats, tra trash everywhere on Hulong Bay. It was so sad. Many of the same tours, many of us, UNESCO World Heritage Site, the history in the rock formation, women's roles in war history, maybe a timeline, some kind of, because we went, the last thing we did was go to a woman's museum before we left to go to the airport. And that was really interesting how they, per, you know, Provided for families, how they were useful in war, what they did, nurses, um, delivering babies during the war, uh, some resistance people, um, helping, getting messages and things like that. Um, it was very interesting. Um, a lot of war propaganda posters from their their side of the thing. It was just really very interesting. So I still have... A lot to do, <sighs> but I'm at the point where I want to do something else for a little bit. Maybe that's why I'm painting so much at night. So I don't want to take a break. But I might try to figure out how I can how I can maybe combine some of these things, <coughs> but I don't want to diminish their importance. I need some inspiration. That's what I need on different ways of doing things. <coughs> I'm sorry. I got a tickle in my throat. This is actually too big to go that way, but it could go that way. Or it could go in one of these, guys. This is upside down. I have to be careful, too, because I'm getting kind of full here. And I don't have another one of these. And these are expensive. I think I got mine on sale. They're like $27. <laughs> I do have small binders. Several of them, actually. I could put craft paper over this one. Basically the same thing. I went to Target the other day. And Target used to sell these all the time. This size, but they don't anymore. I used to keep bong. No, who did I keep? Um, pear tea stickers in here. That was how I got involved in stickers so much. But uh, so I could go on to volume two if I need to, which I probably should because these are just. Getting, it's just getting full. See, when you stand it up, it's already. Oh, but I love this. This really thick chipboard. Actually, thicker than this. <laughs> but this has got plastic on it. And if I put craft paper over it, I know I have some craft paper from like Amazon. When they stuff their boxes sometimes. So. Um, and I could decorate it. on With sticker paper. Hmm. Not this one. The other one. So see. I think I want to put. This is way too thin of paper to do this pocket with. I don't know what I was thinking. And I left the ragged edges on here on purpose. But I could see I could put like water buffalo 
and then have pictures on both sides of water buffalo. Or I can add this to the back. But this kind of has a good frame. Or I could trim it down to this size and have both of them. That's what I'll do. I know I have pictures of water buffalo. And I probably need to do a lot of post-its, like add this here, add this here. That's what I need to do. Oh, this goes in Hobonichi. And we went to Congaree the other day with my cousin. See, like traffic, city life. Hanoi Hilton, going by that. I want to add some of this stuff in here. Water puppets, which were really fascinating. There's lacquer. The kids, oh, the kids were so cute. More embroidery. Me and my favorite lady embroidering together or trying to learn how to embroidery. Okay, where's, here's some like everyday houses. That's an everyday current Vietnam architecture. This was our guide. That's the lady who has Lola, <laughs> more lacquer, and street scene at night. This little girl was up in the boutique area. She was adorable. Ah, water buffalo. It's not on photographic paper, but it's okay. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to do a water buffalo page. I think I took my scissors in the other room. So let's see if we can't. Hopefully you can't hear my husband. Okay. These are just cardstock. What did I do? Oh, hit this. Water bubble. After Bonnie, the lady from the quilting lady that drew us all together, she fell trying to get a picture of this guy. <laughs> and she's over in Egypt walking around. She's got a really good brace from an orthopedic doctor here. But she's a trooper because you know that knee is swelling every night. Especially because they're having 100 degree days every day. I don't think it's humid though. It might be more humid in the cities. But she had pictures of the pyramids and the Sphinx. I'm like, oh, one day. But I just, oh, that flight. I guess it's like giving birth. You forget how horrible it is till you do it again. I'm assuming that's how giving birth is. <laughs> Never done it. Never going to, obviously. All right, come on. Here we go. Now, I really do want these things to line up. Okay. Let's see if we can round these corners a little bit prettier. but I'm getting hot under all these lights. Okay, so now 
water buffalo. All right, and this has, I printed some of these pictures with rounded corners. So they have little tiny white diamonds on them. This would give me enough room to talk about them. And I think I'm going to print a bunch of something like this in different colors. Probably on Procreate somehow, some way. So that I can start adding in little bits of journaling on top of what journaling I've already added. And I don't want to do major essays. <laughs> in the old days, the water buffalo symbolized da-da-da-da-da. I'm not... What is that guy that does, does the BBC? Nature stuff. Attenborough. I'm not Dana Attenborough. <laughs> Definitely not Dana Attenborough. Okay, so I think... Hmm. I might have to add a piece of something in the middle here. Or... He might can go in here and then I do something normal with these. Not normal, but you know what I mean. I don't know if I like that either. Huh. I don't know. How am I going to do this? I should have put a piece of paper in the middle here before I glued them. Oh, they're taped too. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. I'm looking at washi tape. If I can add paper underneath the washi tape. Scraps of stuff here. I'm thinking out loud, people. Sort of. I'm constructing as we go. So I'm adding a piece of... X this is not the way to do this, but this is the way I have to do it because I didn't think about it ahead of time. So I have washi tape, a piece of cardstock here. Now I'm going to trim the washi tape. And it still looks okay. And now I can poke a hole. Hmm, I should have made it just a tad longer. So my little tiny ideas about, you know, um, where's my thing again? Where is my, like, not, not, the people deserve a lot more than, you know, a little blurb like that. But a little thing like this would be good for our guide, all of the guides, um, and they might get a whole page all together. The lady from Hawaii the Vietnamese Guide and Bonnie Hunter. Um, like the doors might get like something like that too. Hanoi Hilton will get something like that only because I don't want to focus on war. This was a much happier trip than war. Even though it happened, traffic can get something like that. So maybe I need to make some more of these cards. I'm thinking out loud. Make, okay, where's a post-it? Write all this down, Beth. Here we go. Make, and when I say make more journal cards, spots like this and perhaps include like a hinge built in. So make them like 
that shape and then have the blurb that can go there and this will already be there. Make more journal cards and I can make them out of paper that I've already painted. So that's fine. Um, so that's one. This is a midway check-in, more than midway, I think. Um, I need to come up with, oh, make those little journal spots like this. Make, and what I might do is take a picture of these, stick it on Procreate, and then go over it in a different color. So I don't always have red. Gold would be great, but I don't know how to do gold on Procreate with digital. I did find, though, ooh, I did find some paints that are metallic here that have gold in them. This is just a cheap set, but there's gold. And then their paint set. And I might could go around the border. I might put it, make it white and paint it gold. Ah. Make journal stickers and print it on, journal, on sticker paper. So I'm going to make a whole page of these. Kind of so that there's red ones and gold ones and they all look uniform throughout the journal. Not necessary a necessity, but kind of cool. And put craft paper over the pineapple paper. Cover that other binder. I'm going to cover this in craft. So I have volume one and volume two. Cover other binder in craft. So hopefully that'll all get done before you see me again. And then we can go full speed ahead. So I want to make tiny journal spots for food. These are journal spots. I'm think I'm just planning out loud because I'm getting down to the end now, and I need to kind of organize my thoughts, organize my supplies, organize my. And I can, you know, what I can do though with this, and still use it and not waste it. All the leftover receipts, and there's not that much, really and truly. This is not a good ephemera trip. <laughs> I could put them in these pockets. Okay, so food. Um, Hanoi Hilton. Um, streets. Street architecture. Um, the guides. They will probably get a big one. So they can all three go together. Um, Uh, com communism would be because it does run their country not a huge focus okay and I still need lacquer lacquer and ceramics so they might be back to back big I have to write all this out for myself um, the kids, the kids are going to get a big one too. Um, Lola and Gunnar might get a little one <laughs> just because it was too funny to run into another person that had another dog, just like ours. And he's the, oh, doors, doors. I want to do a doors one too. So, I need at least one, two, three, four, five, six small spots, which I have maybe two or so left. Six smalls. And one, two, three bigs. Allie Edwards does a little bit of what she calls assembly line. I am going to finish assembly line because I'm down to the nitty gritty here. I finished the big points. Um, I still need to work on, no, I still need a bigger one for more stuff under the temple. 
but I, I have something on Procreate that I'm kind of trying to create. I would not mind having some fillers like these, which these still need some work. Um, so the, if I make the, the, if I make the journal spots and have them ready to go out of paper that I've already painted, showed you, can show you again, um, that'll have that ready to go. There won't be any, you know, thinking out loud as far as construction. It'll just be assembly. And that way, maybe we have like five or six more days because <sighs> I'm ready to move forward. I have my idea for Halloween already and I'm, it's driving me nuts. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I know we are in June, <laughs> but it's a good one. I think if I could pull it off, it's a good one. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. I kind of need a palette cleanser. So there's going to be some in-betweeners, which, Curti, I know you like. And September might be prepping for October as far as making some stuff on my own. Some of these kind of journal cards, but apply them to my theme. So I have June, July, and August. Especially July and August. To come up with a plant. Now, I could do something in one of these. I'm, I don't know. I'm just afraid to use these. It's just paper, Beth. It is just paper. And if I screw it up, I can photocopy the cover and make another one. That's that's a good way to look at it. Okay. I just talked myself out of being afraid to use those. I have India ephemera that I can use somewhere. I would like to make another zine. I would like to make a zine. So there's going to be some in-betweeners. July and August is like a lot of in-betweeners. Unless I come up with a little something, something. I don't know. But now you know the whole plan of the rest of this journal. There's going to be some production behind the scenes of journal cards and journal spots. And some sticker locations for more just writing in my own writing. And some assembly. Because you've really gotten the gist of the trip. You've gotten the gist of what I'm doing. At the end, I'm going to go in and write my table of contents. I need to still make a spot back here cover this, which I have some stuff that I've made, so I could probably do something over that. And I need to fuse. That might happen too. Fuse. And some of these places and these still things, I can still use pockets. I don't want to get rid of all the pockets because I've got some in the beginning. And I need to figure out what I did with the rest of these guys. I love, I love maps. <laughs> I just like having all of these different interactive. Something needs to go there. Um, sizes, a map, a, a brochure, fold out, pockets. I like all the different. I do like that. And it's working out. This is the first time I've been able to do this and it work out the way I had expected. Let's just say that. Okay. I got some stuff to do. Here we go. See you all tomorrow. Bye.